Quantez Devante Lamar, a.k.a. Rich Homie Quan, born October 4th, 1989. Did a dance move kill Rich Homie Quan's career? Today's feature from the end of 2013 through 2015 was one of the hottest rappers in the game and in the trap rap subgenre, only Fetty Wap and Young Thug could compare. Although all relatively similar in artistry, they all brought a slightly different aspect to the subgenre and could all flourish side by side. Young Thug and Quan would eventually do that, teaming up for a mixtape called Rich Gang The Tour Part 1 that's considered a classic among Thug and Quan fans. But joint success around that time was far from Quan's only trick. As a solo artist, his mixtape Still Going In released in 2012 that led to his first big tour in 2013 with Trinidad James. Also released in 2013 was one of Quan's biggest songs to date, Type Away, off his follow-up mixtape Still Going In Reloaded that was named the 10th best mixtape of 2013 by Rolling Stone. Type Away is what really introduced Rich Homie Quan to a wide audience including myself and the audience his music to me was perfect for. When I first heard the song, immediately I could see exactly the lane for Quan that he could have rode straight to the top of the rap game. While he was technically singing, it wasn't your typical R&B, but more of a heartfelt, melodic harmonizing that felt like the best form of depression. Only thing, it was a depression you somehow enjoyed. That tone of melodies mixed with him actually having technical skills to hit the right notes on the end of his words like a professional singer made Rich Homie Quan burst onto the scene as one of the first using the style of the younger generation and a viable star going forward with just the sound the rap game was looking for and would eventually become oversaturated with today. As one of the earliest doing it, he had the opportunity to lead the charge in every way and by now should have been a staple name in hip-hop, most definitely trap rap. And then in 2015, the song Flex released. I'll go on record right now by saying I've never seen a song hit like that in the clubs up to that point. This and maybe Fetty Wap's 679 and even My Way featuring Drake. Being in Japan at the time, I got to uniquely see just how big a song was because if they played it there on repeat, you knew it was a hit. Not only did the song bring everyone to the dance floor, it came with a dance move. One that I really think privately everyone has tried at some point. In those Japanese clubs, the dance was a virus. Then somehow the dance took on another life when remixed by artists I Love Memphis and shot up even bigger than Flex by Quan. It then started to be criticized for how zesty it looked and I'll never forget Quan doing it at a show in the tightest all-white outfit ever known to man and it hit me. This would be the end of Quan. He started out as the voice of the trap, now he looks full, flexible. That very performance lost his street buzz, I don't care what anyone says. That and a few other growth stunts has Quan at the back of a line he arguably started and no one paying attention, even though his music is still pretty good. What happened? Let's talk about it. It's your boy JC Stunted Growth Music, let's get it man. Rich Homie Quan is a rapper from Atlanta, Georgia with an upbringing similar to the ones you hear all the time of a young guy with a passion for doing the right thing, in Quan's case aspiring to become a baseball player, but sidetracked by the streets, going to prison, being released, taking music more serious, and eventually it's saving his life. 
After losing his job at a local airport, he went to prison for 15 months for burglary, and in there, he realized he needed to make something out of music if he was going to survive being young, black in America, and attracted to the finer things in life. It all began to take off when he dropped a song called Differences and a mixtape still going in, followed by part two. Tour began to happen, features with Gucci Mane and Young Thug, YG, Young Jeezy, 2 Chains, and a hit song type of way that was the soundtrack to life in 2013. It led to him being a double XL freshman feature 2014, which stamped Quan had officially made it. Stunt number one, the dance. Never before seen in the history of music, a dance move actually hurt an artist's career. But that's exactly what I think happened. In music, specifically hip-hop, perception is everything. Whether naturally or industry planted, what you want to do as a male artist is convince the masses that you're cool enough for all the women to want you, but solid and masculine enough for the men to feel confident championing your music by singing along, bopping, or using your song to slide up on the girl he's been eyeing all night. That's what Rich Homie Kwan had with songs like Type Away and Walk Through. His song Flex that introduced his unique dance bop could have also been that kind of song. But the dance, that was a gift and a huge curse. It made Rich Homie's perception take a hit and stun his growth. It was just too much for many guys to physically do and look cool and also wasn't enough shake for women to do it either. It's weird because it seems like a dance for men, but at the same time, makes a man look out of character doing it, unless that was already his character. Let's face it, that character is the minority in the public, as most men resort to being cool with a simple two-step instead. What really makes the dance a clown show was to hit the Quan song that was all about doing the dance that shot up the charts, peaking at 15 on Billboard and number one in hip hop and R&B, higher than Quan's flex that inspired it. They both went platinum. The artist behind the heist, I Love Memphis, even performed it on The Ellen Show and became a huge one-hit wonder while Ting Ting Kwan's dance, shading his flex song from full potential and bringing light to a zestful dance that hurt Kwan's image. Stunt number two, legal issues. Coming off a scorching 2014 and even hotter 2015, by the end of that year, Quan got entangled in a legal dispute with a label called Think It's a Game he signed to beginning his career. He sued them for unpaid royalties in which the label returned suit for breach of contract. While both sides hashed it out, Quan wasn't able to release music from December 2015 to March 2017 almost two years, 18 months to be exact. That's an eternity for an artist like Rich Homie Kwan, whose music plays off what's trending at the time, and who's an artist coming up when the music industry began moving at its fastest pace. So much had happened between those dates, and in that time, numerous artists took Kwan's style and really leaned into the melodic trap rap sound as the industry forgot about Kwan. Him leaving on a bad note with the zesty dance move didn't help much either. Both sides settled out of court, but the damage was irreversible. He also battled felony drug possession charges from 2017 to 2019 that were eventually dropped. In those days, time off is something you couldn't afford in the rap game, and for a while, time off was all Quan had. Stunt number three, the window closed. After the dance and legal troubles that forced Quan to disappear from music, his career was never the same. He'd signed to Motown after settling with former label and released a few singles for his new album Rich As In Spirit that was supposed to have dropped years earlier ideally. 
The song Changed I think is a great song for Kwan. Unfortunately, it hasn't taken off like it should because quite frankly, he doesn't have the attention he once had. Making matters worse, his semi-beef with Young Thug over him misspeaking on Thug back in the day pits Thug's fans against Kwan's with Kwan losing out easily. Changed hasn't even hit 500k on YouTube, the same Kwan used to doing tens of millions easily on singles he pushed. He dropped a late debut album March 2018 that showed not many still cared about Kwan's music, selling 13k first week and forgotten ever since. All in all, Rich Homie Kwan's story shows exactly why you should be careful who you sign deals with. If you sign one, make sure you perform the duties of that contract fully until you're free to negotiate another. That legal issue, maybe even more than the dance, killed Kwan's career and he's never been the same since. Salute to Rich Homie Kwan, much respect, but for these reasons, his growth was stunted. It's your boy JC, Stunted Growth Music, and I'm out.